Hello from Budapest and welcome to Hungary Reports, public media M1's English language news show, starting off our foreign language news hour. I'm Arpad Sertzi with the latest from Hungary and the Carpathian Basin. Thanks for joining us. At a summit of the European Council in Brussels, Hungarian Prime Minister Viktor Orban said on his Facebook page that motions that would provide even more money and rights to migrants were defeated during a very stormy session. The PM added that Hungary was attacked by a number of countries' delegates because of its stance on migration. He said that the delegates wanted to push through their plans at the Council to bring more migrants into the EU. Pro migration countries have begun one last operation of pushing through the ideas the current EU summit of bringing even more migrants into the European Union, said Viktor Orban in a video posted on his social media page. The head of government said in a video recorded during a recess at the summit that the reason why he called it one last operation is because next May's European parliamentary elections will most likely change the balance of power. There was one last attack, more rights and more money for migrants, and to push back countries, Central Europeans, who don't want anything to do with migration. We managed to push back these attacks, even in these difficult circumstances said the Prime Minister. Migration was in fact the main topic of Friday's session. The atmosphere of the meeting was already laid down a day before when the President of the European Parliament, Antonio Tajani, brought up the mandatory quotas which had already been rejected several times before. Romania, who is about to take over the rotating presidency of the EU, said before the session, the Croatias are not a solution. We've come to find out from the Croatias that they're not a good solution. I think that we can't resolve what would be the best solution today, but we have to find the right solution in order to handle the situation correctly, said the Romanian head of state. The current president, the Chancellor of Austria, emphasized that he's opposed the Croatias since 2015, and most have come to realize by now that the the quotas are not a solution. A day before, the Brexit deal was the main topic at the EU summit. The Hungarian government emphasized its previous position, which states that the most important thing is the protection of the rights of Hungarians living and working in the United Kingdom. Hungary and Cyprus have signed a bilateral natural gas agreement, said Foreign Affairs and Trade Minister Peter Siarto on Friday. Hungary says it's continuously looking for alternative methods of increasing its energy supplies. Siarto made his comments at the Hungarian consulate in Nicosia. He added that Hungary is almost totally reliant on Russian gas supplies. The agreement with Cyprus enables Hungary to get supplies from Cyprus's offshore Aphrodite gas field. The reason we signed this energy cooperation agreement is so that we could start preparing for Cypriot gas to play an important role in gas supplies to southeastern and central Europe in the medium future. Well over a million Hungarians have filled out the government's national consultation questionnaire, which deals mainly with the protection of families. That's what the state secretary at the cabinet office of the prime minister said. Chaba Dömeter pointed out that the huge interest by the public shows how important the issue is for people. Deadline for handing in the questionnaire is December 21st. This woman from Mezuberin is raising her two-and-a-half-year daughter with her husband. The family would like to have two more children because, as they say, the family support programs encourage them to do so. The national consultation about the protection of families began in November. This is the eighth consultation. The government awaits answers to 20 questions, which mainly deals with families and supporting young married couples. The National Consultation Questionnaire about the Protection of Families has been filled out by more than 1,100,000 people, said the State Secretary of the Prime Minister's Cabinet Office. This shows us that it discusses a question that is important to us all. The importance of the consultation is to be able to decide the future of family support schemes together. This country is now spending double the amount of money on family support compared to 2010. But as the economy is performing so well, we can continue to expand these support measures, Chaba Dömeter said. The state secretary added, the opposition continues to attack the national consultation, and as he put it, if they could, they'd even demolish all family support programs. 
Demonstrators on Friday gathered for the third day in a row in front of the Hungarian parliament in Budapest. They're continuing their protests regarding amendments to the labor law. The past two days saw rioting and vandalism, also resulting in multiple arrests. The amendments would allow employees to work up to 400 hours of overtime a year. On Thursday, several police officers were injured. Demonstrators also caused damage to the parliament building and also vandalized police cars. Since the first day of rioting on Wednesday, 14 police officers have been injured and 22 demonstrators have been taken into custody, many of them facing charges of assault causing bodily harm. 11 of those already have criminal records. The demonstrators first, the demonstrations rather first started on Wednesday after opposition politicians called on demonstrators gathered elsewhere to march onto Parliament and demonstrate against the labor law. And the Parliament building itself was also vandalized during the demonstrations. Its walls and steps were awash in paint and eggs thrown at them, as well as windows being broken. Furthermore, a festive Christmas area was also destroyed in front of Parliament. These photos show how things looked on Friday morning, and this is what the entrance to Parliament looked like. And these visuals were taken hours later by our news crew. It looks just like before. The demonstrations of the past two days certainly left their mark on Kossuth Square. Sanitary employees worked in vain to try and try and bring things back to the way they were before. But the damage was too extensive. You can see that many of the steps of Parliament have been slammed with paint of various colours. The parliament building itself was also vandalized with two of its windows being broken. Some of the demonstrators left aggressive graffiti messages. A number of them read, hang them. One was especially meant for Laszlo Turkish from Romania's Hungarian minority, the man who kick-started the Romanian revolution almost 30 years ago and who is a member of the European parliament. And you can see that someone had tried to set a public bench on fire. Just like the sleighs that were meant for disadvantaged children that enclosed the nation's Christmas tree, burn marks are still quite visible on some. Many of these were even smashed to pieces by demonstrators. The Christmas tree also fell victim to the attacks. The president of the International Children's Safety Service told them one news that he remains confused by the actions of the protesters. What we don't understand is that a few try and light the nation's Christmas tree on fire, which was put there for the children, about 800, 850 children. It's quite burnt right now, so we'll try and fix it up for tomorrow as much as we can, Peter Edvi said. The mast of the national flag and paving alongside it was also vandalized by protesters. The Reuk Palace in Seged in central Hungary features an exhibition on the works of Hungarian photographer Manci Beck. On view are her lyrical nudes, eurythmics, as well as her famous portraits from the past century. More than a hundred works make up the collection, which in a certain respect is the photographer's way of coming back home. That's because Beck used to have a studio on the second floor of the Reuk Palace, where her works are now on display. Another mantled Gereza, a type of old world monkey, was born at the Shoshto Zoo in Nyerechaza in northeastern Hungary. This unusual looking animal stems from Central Africa and can adapt to various inhabitats, usually preferring secondary forests. The baby right now is clinging on to its mom, but as you can see, is also like a curious George. The mantled Gerezas first came to the Shoshto Zoo thanks to it belonging to the European Endangered Species Program, and the Gerezas there are now nicely prospering. And may you prosper also. And that's all for now. But don't forget, you can catch Hungary Reports every night after the 11 p.m. news and online as always. Please stick around now, if you can, for our other foreign language news programs in German, Russian, and Chinese. Thanks very much for watching it. Min den Jolt. Izgalmas politikai csatározások és hatalmi játszmák, nemzetközi érdekkonfliktusok és tárgyalások. Érdekes hírekkel és a világpolitika háttérben zajló történéseivel várja önöket a világ. Szombaton a 8 és a 16 órai híradók után az M1-en. Van, aminek nem tudok ellenállni. 